Hello everyone, Genesis Rider here, bringing you another Genesis Tips and Tricks commentary over some Scythe Regicide free-for-all gameplay. Um, Scythe is a map made on the Ford World of Impact, and off the start here, I would like to mention that I am not only facing one or two, but I'm actually facing three CSR 50 Rumble Pit players. I Warfare, D35X, and Eric Boo are all CSR 50 in rumble pit that means that they are the max rank and very very good at this point in the game i was only a 45 in rumble pit now i would like to state before beginning this is on, just over a five minute film so it should be pretty decent but i'll slow down the film as much as i can because it is brutally fast paced um this level of gameplay is just um it, like i said brutal and I would like to point out, before we begin this film, that I reviewed Bayakugan 69 submitted Scythe Regicide gameplay in another film. If you want to watch that one, click on the annotation in the top left-hand corner. It's definitely worth the watch. I do spend just under 20 minutes giving him some tips and tricks on how he can do better in Regicide overall. And I'll give you a good perspective of this map and what it's like to not do so well on this map and not face people who know what they're doing as much. This gameplay is so completely ridiculous and brutal that it's. I'm gonna be trying to slow down, slow it down for you guys, but it's it's very fast paced. Um, the sniper rifle does spawn top middle, as most of you are well aware, and the teleporters makes this map all the more ridiculous because you can teleport from this side over to green and vice versa back across to the other side. Now, getting this spawn first off, let's try to jump into the gameplay. I could go through for the sniper rifle here, but instead I notice this guy on my radar behind me who is going to spawn here and push up and immediately try to get this easy kill. Um, so I end up turning around and trying to shoot him. This is one of the CSR 50 players. I do end up trading with him, which is a good idea. Now off my respawn, I think, okay, I can run and jump through the teleporter. The reason why I think this is because no one is currently on my radar. But then I notice, hey, the king is off to my right, okay? So I'm going to try to go for the king. Now, it's very likely, as I stated out in the film where I, said, where I reviewed by Coogan 69s gameplay, is that the king is very likely going to be dead before I get over to him. And this is exactly what happens. However, I'm not necessarily looking for the king. I'm looking for who the king was fighting. You always want to be taking advantage of people who are in engagements and come out weak, like this player, okay, who I just killed. Now this grenade isn't very good. Um, Elva Genesis really gave me an easy kill here by sprinting for too long. I used the thruster pack to get away, quickly get around this corner, and this is one of the more underestimated positions of the map right here. Um, as long as you can avoid the grenades um, and people, um, by the way, the way to grenade this area correctly is to bank grenades off of this wall. Okay, you want to bank a grenade just off of this ramp right here and then off of this back wall right here so that you can cover this area and this area. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to do that. They throw their, both of their grenades in the exact same place and don't end up getting any kills. Um, but this is a great area to hang out. Now, I would like to point out a glitch in theater mode. It says that I'm not currently the king on the top of the screen. I will notify you when I am or am not the king. It will say the majority of the time, but when you go into third person like this and then back to the king, sometimes it glitches out like this. So I am the king right now. Because I am the king, the players are obviously going to come after me. So I sit here, regain my shield, pull out my bolt shot, and kill this player who's coming after me. Now I'm trying to um, wait for other players to engage each other before I pop out. Again, avoiding grenades, and I end up getting an easy kill, popping out and cleaning up that player, watching my radar like a hawk. Now, this player does charge over. I don't know why he drops here because I end up getting a very easy double kill. And I would like to point out how waiting for 30 seconds allowed me to get my overshield, which allowed me to stay alive this long. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't allow me to get the triple kill here because this is I Warface or I Warfare here. He is a very good player and ends up outclassing me. Thankfully, he does not get this kill on me as three people on my radar. Now, off of this spawn, I'm going to try to get up high um, as fast as possible. Notice how I don't just run out here on the open. This is a bad idea because players are going to be spawning up here below you, up here below you, and even could have angles um, from this bridge on you. And so you don't you want to get up high as fast as humanly possible. And I ended up cleaning up an easy one-shot here 
that probably I Warfare was shooting at a minute ago. I back down, um, try to fake him out a little bit. Unfortunately, I Warfare ends up being cleaned up from behind. A guy teleports through and drops on top of me. As you can tell, D35X is another of the CSR50 players. He's using the teleporters correctly. Right here, I still am the king. Um, and I end up getting this easy kill, but I end up being needle rifle, uh, needlered um, twice in a row here. I do end up getting a kill for each death, which is what I wanted to do in the first place. Um, probably should have dodged a little bit more there. Um, now I want you to notice right here what I see. I see that the king is across the map, and he just gained the kingship. So I'm going to teleport through and try to attack him. One of the main reasons for this is because no one is over here on my radar. This is what you need to be doing on site. You need to be teleporting through the teleporters like this. Look immediately at the king. Get the easy regicide. And unfortunately, I were faced. It has some amazing shots on me. And using that barrier to his advantage right there. Um, I don't see anyone on here. And this is a mistake on my part. If you see a guy that's already this far out. Okay. He's already over here. Don't drop down and try to start shooting him. Especially when you're the king. Because... I just gave up my position right here. This is one of the mistakes I made during this game. You want to stay up high, okay? And th this is true several times in the game. You really do want to stay up high and try to maintain this position. Because if you're over here, you can. if someone spawns behind you and you're getting one shot, you can teleport through and then try to quickly, easily get up, get a kill. People don't expect you to teleport. Even the king, even though everyone can see see you, it's going to take, you know, two or three seconds for people to realize that you've teleported through. Um, right here, I just try to pursue this kill. I don't end up getting it. Someone spawns behind me and is going to be able to be able to easily clean me up. D35X right there. Now right here, once again, I give kind of give away my position when I am the king. But I'm doing so for a good cause. And um, the reason why is because there are people on my radar. There are enough people where I think I can get some of these kills because... Specifically, this guy is shooting with a light rifle at somebody bottom middle. And I know that I have a different angle on him than the angle he has. So I'm possibly going to be able to clean up these kills. And you say I can get the first kill. Um, he light rifles the second guy easily for me, so I get the double kill. And I'm able to run over here and um, clean this guy up. You really don't want to be this guy. Um, using Trying to use the Promethean turret, which gets immediately destroyed. Don't be this guy, okay? Don't be light rifling in a regicide game. Um, that's a bad idea unless you're playing Big Rumble, which is now not in matchmaking anymore. Um, you want to be using the battle rifle more often than not. If you have trouble using the battle rifle, use the DMR. Um, the reason I say this is because it is overall the most consistent, fast-killing, um, mid-to-close-range rifle. Um, it's just going to kill you the quickest, is the best way I can put it. All right here, unfortunately, Elder Genesis gets cleaned up, and then I get cleaned up. Um, I probably should have tried to run for this hidey hole over here, but I thought the guy who shot this guy would charge out here. Um, he doesn't end up doing so, which is unfortunate. But moving on with the film, um, this is where I have to mention, as always, that this is my uh, first game of the day. I'll try to mention that whenever these games are my first game of the day. And you can easily see here an example of this as I windmill. This guy with my reticle, I try to windmill around him as he jumps. He does a pretty good jump here. Um, I thrust the pack, but I should have definitely gotten this kill. Um, I should not have lost the crown there. Um, not too big of a deal, but still, I need, didn't need to give that up. I do drop down for this guy, and I end up windmilling a little bit before getting back into control. Um, again, I'm going to use the rock, um, and I see these guys um, behind and ahead of me. Um, this guy just spawned over here, and there's a guy over here. So I'm going to make a call. That I'm going to try to get out of here. And even so, I end up being uh, pinged a little bit before I go through the shield. Now, I want you to notice what I do here. Because I see this guy over here, I judge that my shields are not advanced enough for me to take him out. I'm assuming that he's already seen me, which probably was incorrect, but it, it really works out for me here as I um, end up... Notice how I, I go, wait, 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 I don't need to go this way. I need to look at the king, okay? Because this guy is charging out. This is the light rifle guy. He's charging out at people. And he lets me easily get this second angle on him. And I get the regicide here. This is one of the few times I actually kill um, I Warfare. Uh, this player is really good. And I end up cleaning up. The, notice this is the exact same guy I just killed for the kingship. And I get him for the double kill. Not sure why I dropped down here. Again, there was really no need, reason to drop down here. 
and you can see here how I'm not able to teleport. I probably would have been able to get away, um, but uh, otherwise I'm easily cleaned up. Now I do get the kingship here, um, and I still am retaining it with 5 points for the lead. End up getting this easy one shot, um, I Warfare comes through and kills me and gains the kingship. Now right here it is, um, you could go for the sniper rifle here, but um, on Scythe because the map is so close and fast paced, um, it's like having a sniper rifle on Simplex. It's only going to do you a certain amount of good before you die. And, you know, that's why I don't necessarily go for it straight off. Um, I really do like what I do here the first play, um, getting the kill steal on, on I Warfare, Warfare here. But this is what I'm talking about when I say a CSR 50 person. He sees me on his radar, backs up, and perfectly grenades me as I drop down. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying, like, a high-level game. That's what I mean. Now you can see the sniper rifle is still up, which is a real big mistake on the enemy player's part, but they're probably too much in, in the flow of things to even get that sniper rifle just like I was. But I would like to point here how I don't try to just end up no-scoping this guy. And this really pays off for me, because I wasn't able to notice he had no shields. But when I pull out my VR and get the headshot, I end up easily getting the kill. If I had tried to snipe this guy, he might have even got me here. We like to notice here how I run through the teleporter and catch this guy completely off guard. He's not even able to fire a shot before I kill him, allowing my shields to regenerate. And this is a very, very good play on my part. And what I, why, why I want to say this is because the king was right around the corner here, but I had no shields, okay? And there were people um, coming up behind me and in front of me. This is overall a very solid play. And I want to point out something here about the score. I am 25 points behind the leader, okay? And it is very important that you understand that the position I'm in is very good for regicide. Because when the king gets closer to the end of the scoreboard, 300 points, it becomes very difficult to get kills as the king to get that last two or three kills. Because... Players know that the game is about to end and will avoid the king at all costs because obviously you're the king, you have the highest score, you're the person about to win the game, you want to run away from that guy at all costs if he's trying to BR you or kill you. That's why it's so difficult. And that's part of the reason why I hate regicide um, to an extent. Um, I would like to point out, though, that if I killed the king right now, I would become the king. Adding 21 points to all of my score, it would make me... Um, 200, I'm sorry, I made 250, just below the king score. Um, and that is a really good position for me to be in. So I come through here, advance my score to 240. Now if I killed the king, I would have 260 score, and I would be in the lead. This is a good position because I'm not the king. No one, no one knows where I am unless they look at their radar. And this is really good. As I see a guy uh, spawn behind me, I get that easy headshot, get the body shot, and I, once again, should have pulled out my VR here to try to get this kill as I end up getting easily cleaned up from behind from a guy coming to the teleporter. This guy has tele that guy with the light rifle teleported multiple through multiple times, um, including in the very end here, was very good at doing that. Um, great examples of that here. Now again, well, I want you to notice how I just have to kill this guy, and boom, I become the king. Okay, and then I start shooting him for the easy double kill, and there you go. It doesn't really matter that I die here, because I have just one more kill to go. And I want you to notice again the light rifle player teleporting through in the nick of time to kill me. Okay, this is perfect timing on his part. Once you see the king die, and you see a bunch of people around you, like let's say, let's say like you're over here. Okay, let's say you're sitting right here. You see the king over here. And you have like three people fighting on this lower floor below you. And you notice that the king dies. If you wait like two seconds and then pop through the teleporter, I guarantee you that when you pop through the teleporter, you're going to be somewhere near the king. Either the king spawned right over here or the king spawned right over here. The reason being is because there was a bunch of people on the opposite end of the map. So that's just some good tips right there. Now, I do end up pursuing this guy. I have two grenades, that's why I'm charging down here. Um, unfortunately, I end up getting an assist on these guys. And I want you to notice something right here. Um, if the player, I, if this player right here had been blue, okay, I would have had to out-BR him to win the game. If this player had been blue, and this, game, this player is I Warface right here, if he had been 
um, Eric 800 and we had killed each other, like we're about to do right here, we both would have tied to end the game, which I thought that's what was going to happen. Unfortunately, iWarfare is five points behind the 280 player. Again, I have a 20-point um, bonus on my head. As you can see by this enemy player, um, I have a 20-point bonus on my head. What that means is that if iWarfare gets this kill, he is going to be five points away from ending the game. He could literally assist a kill on the king, get five points, and end the game. Thankfully, I do end up trading with Warfare here, and the game does end. And actually, I'd like to point out something. Warfare does not kill me. L the Genesis, this guy, comes back from faking me out from after running this way. You saw that I was trying to pursue the kill, and he ran this way. He comes back to shoot me, which is a really good idea, trying to fake out the enemy king um, like this. So guys, I hope if you enjoyed um, this film um, that you'll... Uh, like the video, subscribe. I hope it helped you out a lot with understanding how to play Regicide on Scythe. Once again, I would highly recommend watching my gameplay review of Baikuken 69's um, Scythe uh, free-for-all Regicide gameplay as well. It'll help you understand also a little few more tips on how to play Scythe Regicide. Very brutal game type. Um, this um, beating three SR50 players advanced me from a 45 to a 46 in one game. So if you're curious on how to advance your CSR faster, um, specifically in Rumble Pit, because it's graded on your individual, um, your individual um, performance, basically if you beat other people with your score, um, if you beat them and they are a higher CSR than you, you have a much better chance of increasing. If you're beating people who have a lower CSR than you, specifically like a really low CSR, like below 10, that's probably not going to increase you very much. In fact, you actually have the potential to go down if you're beating completely new players. But um, in Free For All, you often get matched up against really good guys. So I recommend jumping into Free For All, um, getting better at that and everything. Um, hopefully I'll get my 50 sometime in the future. But anyway, sorry for the ramble there. Um, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next capture or whatever I end up recording. Peace, guys.